Hey, EJ, hey, it's, it's David Hood, man. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, your, your sister being able to play professional basketball, uh, you know, was she someone that you could lean on during the recruiting process and, and getting to Clemson to kind of ask her, you, you know, how you've handled, how she's handled certain things and, 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 and how to play at a certain level. She's played in college. She's played in, you know, in, in the pros. Yes, in a great way. She was always like a mentor to me when I was growing up and just really just being the best person you can be, trying to be, just do your role on the team, just when you're looking into going to a school and things like that. Just basically follow your heart and just do what's for you and not for anybody else. EJ, you um, had, had a couple of nice um, first down uh, receptions early in the game on Saturday. Uh, do, do you feel like you're, you're playing at a, at a pretty confident level right now, just um, your, your uh, knowledge of the offense and route running, et cetera? I mean, uh, it's increased to me over since the fall, but um, it's always room to improve. And um, it's only coming from executing and looking at the playbook all the time and just constant studying and going over things that just the small things like stuff on runs and things like that, I still need to get down. But yeah, I'm starting to grow a little bit better, but still always can grow. EJ, this is Matt with the state. What do you think of the comparison that was made between Ross and, and kind of what do you think about the way y'all's two games are similar and different? Really, I just try to just focus on me. I don't really like to going to get into like the comparisons and things, but we're both, I feel like we're both pretty good players. Both tall guys can get in and out of breaks, that's about it. But he has his game and I have mine. Hey EJ, it's Anna with uh, Clemson 24-7. Davo said this week that he told you um, the cake is baked and he asked you what your favorite icing is. I mean, what was that conversation like and do you feel like you've reached that point where you're able to contribute more meaningful reps? Uh, it's not really. It's just like I feel like when he said it, I feel like he's meaning like I'm starting to get the overall things at offense. I'm getting things at offense. It's just really like the icing he's saying as in like just the little things like I said earlier, like on run blocks, just knowing certain types of blocks we need to make and just certain route concepts that go with each other, just getting those down. But um yeah, I feel like I could contribute more, but it's all up to just me being my best as soon as I get in the game and when my number's called. Strength when you I think physically that's kind of the biggest, uh, the next step for you is gaining more weight. Yeah, really, I really do. That's probably like one of the only things that's really like kind of in the way, but it's gonna it's gonna come with lifting weights and things like that. That's just how I see it. Just trusting the process. Hey, EJ, it's uh, Trevor from CUTigers.com again. Um, when when you found out that Justin would, would not be playing this season, did you look at that as, as a big opportunity for yourself as a, a true freshman to be able to come in and, and make a name for yourself? Um, not really, because it was just, I'm, I mean, on the technical way, in the technical way, yeah, it was going to be regardless because we're losing one great receiver that we had the year before. But I had a mindset of my own that I was going to come in and just put the work in and just show the coaches and the staff that I can do what I can do, that I would do what I was doing at high school and on the college level too. Any other questions for EJ? Hey, yeah, hey, hey, uh, hey EJ, it's a... Uh, uh, Josh from the Post and Courier saw that uh, that video of you and a Joe Joe dancing you guys put out over the summer. Uh, just how, what's it been like to kind of go through this first season with them and have them there with you? Uh, it's really been a lot of fun. Clemson, I feel like Clemson is one of the best programs in the country. It's just get to have a lot of fun, do things like that, and make videos like that all the time. It's just not that's not a one time thing. We do it a lot, but yeah, we're just gonna continue to have fun and just ball out. A lot of sad season goes on. Hey, it's Anna again. I know it's been like a unique off season in terms of not having a normal access to the 
weights and gym and kind of the strength system there at Clemson, but just where do you feel like you've made the biggest gains? And, and can you just remind us what you weighed when you came in and, and kind of where you are right now? Uh, I'm probably like 196, 195 right now. But uh, one of my biggest strengths I've really got better on is probably like just learning like the bigger picture in football. Like I wouldn't say something route wise while I've grown in every position in my aspect is in every aspect as I can so far right now. But I feel like me coming in and the playbook, knowing it as much as I can, that's probably one of the best things that I've brought so far. Hey EJ, this is Grace Rainer with The Athletic. Um, going back to a JoJo for a second, Trevor just told us that he's never met anyone in his life that likes to dance as much as a JoJo does. Just what is his, like? what's his personality like? Joe, uh, Joe, he's a he's a great person. Really down to earth. You really get to really get to sit and have a conversation with him. But he's a he's a free spirited person. He's gonna dance like whenever he gets a chance, anytime. It don't matter. He's not a, you're not gonna never catch him when he's in a sad moment. He's just always a happy person. I can say that about him. Great person to be around. EJ, it's Trevor again. Uh, when when was the last time that you were timed in the forty, and, and what was that time? I'd probably say, like, at the at the Under Armour, at the Under Armour Future 50, I think. And I think it was like a 455, 454, one of those. Like you're, you feel like you're running about the same speed right now, or have you improved your speed? Uh, Coach Sweeney talks all the time about how you can fly. Oh, yeah. I feel like uh, – when I'm in like competition and things like that and Ross on there and just running, I feel like I run a lot harder, a lot faster than when I did in high school. Has a Joe shared anything with you like about his journey, just coming over here uh, from Canada? Uh, not really. He just like, he just happy to be here. He just loves Clemson so much. He loves the program. He loves, he just shows a lot of love and that just lets me know that he's happy to be here.